Hi, I'm Edward W. Gilmore. I'm an abstract expressionist artist out of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. I uh, wanted to come in my studio today, kind of show you guys around. But uh, abstract expressionism, it's the art that I do and uh, I really enjoy it. It's, uh, it's something that really feeds me uh, emotionally. I, uh, I do lots of painting. Sometimes I'll paint up to 10, 12 hours a day uh, in my studio here, which you can't see at all right now. But um, I started painting about, oh, I don't know, four years ago. And uh, I was a uh, house painter for 20 years, color consultant for 10 years in San Francisco, and uh, stumbled across some canvases one day after watching the movie uh, Pollock with Ed Harris and uh, kind of inspired me that movie. I haven't stopped since. I uh, started painting in a shed about four years ago. Um, it was a situation where I didn't know really what I was doing, never had prior experience in any kind of painting on canvas or artistic, uh, any kind of artistic stuff at all. So. It was one of those deals where uh, I just wanted to try it. Of course, most artists are a little reluctant to uh, show their stuff, so I kind of painted for about two years. That was kind of my schooling. I knew how paint worked, acrylics mainly, um, used oils, some stains, uh, but I knew how paint worked. and uh, So I was learning my process in the shed. And in the meantime, I was still you know, doing whatever I had to do to make a living. Um, then I came out of, out of the shed and showed my first painting. I had about 50 paintings and uh, it was a situation where I, uh, I showed uh, a couple people and they kind of reacted pretty good. I had lots of color and it kind of inspired me. And then I, uh, I got some local coffee shops in town to hang my stuff. And then uh, it really started taking off after that. And you know, I, got, I even got more inspired to uh, even do more. And uh, in the meantime, what I did is I kept working it like a, like a job. Uh, went, worked it every night after work, painted uh, until two, three in the morning. Was just so in tune to what I was doing, the emotions, and it was almost like a subconscious feeling that uh, I lost track of time. And uh, I finally figured out this is what I want to do. And uh, so I started getting even more serious about what I wanted to do, uh, uh, you know, the passion of what I wanted to do. I really didn't have it in the job I was doing anymore. Um, it was a situation where I said, you know, I would love to be able to make a living doing this, which all artists, I think, want to do that. And it's a situation where I think most artists dream about that day. Well, my dream came true about two years ago when uh, so uh, I had a big collector want to buy some of my a collector around the country, buy some of my art. And then he, he brought it to a next level for me where I, I could make a living doing it. And uh, it's been just a great inspiration. And now, uh, you know, there's collectors all over the country now that collect my art. And uh, I feel every day that I go into the studio, it's just a situation where, um, it, it's my education. I never want to say that I'll ever be the best at whatever I do in art. I just want to, I feel privileged doing art for a living and making a good living at it now. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm one of the blessed ones that can do what he wants to do and uh, enjoy doing it, you know. Yeah, I just, I wake up in the morning now and I just can't wait to get to work and, and create. Um,